4.45 in the morning. Um, Malt pack, just waiting on her. Uh, shuttle gets here in about 15 minutes, 5 o'clock. And uh, take it back to Amsterdam Airport. Get checked in with a uh, airline called EasyJet. It's supposed to be a low cost, I guess, leader in Europe. But um, best rates I could find from Amsterdam to Copenhagen on uh, such short notice. So, uh, yeah, man. Let's get this. This place is dead at five in the morning. Departures heading off to Denmark. This cute little coffee shop, metering. So we're here currently at Amsterdam Airport. Nice little eatery. Right in front of security. This is the one we chose on. We got a coffee and we got a cookie. It's from the M Gates. Uh, one through seven. She's got like, I don't know, 10 destinations leave from the same location. But she's already up there. This is unique. Copenhagen, Denmark. Time to catch a train to the hotel, which is close to the water. Gonna be about a 40 minute train ride. All right, now we're transitioning to M4. I'll say, man, I was so lost. When uh, we first got out of the airport, uh, subway, metro, everything is attached to each other. Um, I asked so many damn questions. Uh, I did get a trader patch, so that's a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so we took, I think, the M2 and then transitioned to the M4. I do not know how to say that street right there. But um, it'll drop us off, I think, a block away from the hotel. So pretty decent. Is unique, pretty sophisticated. We screwed up and got the M3 train, which we need the M4. So they literally run across from each other. But uh, the good thing is that next one's only going to be here in two minutes, so that's not too bad. And then we're going to take it uh, to the edge right here, and then our hotel's like right here. So freaking perfect. We're literally in the city center. This is the stop where we're at. It's the main stop. And then all these cut through the city center circle or city circle. So pretty good. Uh, so, we just got off, uh, off the tram or train, I should say, or subway and uh literally nobody around but the hotel is literally right there so it's the room we got we got an upgrade paid large for it just so that we can check in now not too bad two double beds nice size tv and this is known as a uh, family room outside the hotel in the middle of the courtyard. Not too bad. Drawer set up, hangers, closet. And that's the bathroom. Look at this walk in shower. Dang. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so we're headed up to the center of town. Got a uh, Copenhagen card. Um, there's a lot of attractions, like 80 plus attractions. Comes with free public transportation if you purchase it too. So, not bad. About 200 euro. So yeah, let's see what uh, Copenhagen has to offer. 
I think I got a hotel in a good spot. I mean, it's uh, off from the city center, but this is pretty nice, man. I'm gonna take the uh, number six track to Cog Street. Go get some uh, lunch and then hit up the botanical gardens. That's one of the centers of Copenhagen. All right, so we made it to the little burger joint. Jenna wanted fries, so, so we're gonna have burger and fries for lunch. So due to the potential of copyright issues with all the music being played in the background, I don't want to deal with it. It's a cool little burger joint that we hit up in Copenhagen. So right here, I got the Mexicano. Absolutely looks delicious. Sweet potato fries and truffle mayo. Right here, it's on my niece. She can go ahead and spin hers around. She got the original burger with fries, chili mayo, and then we got two Cokes on the side. So I wait for me to like, stop. But this Mexicano burger, delicious. Sweet potato fries, freaking amazing. It's called It's Burger in Copenhagen. You guys gotta try this. So Jaden picked the Botanical Gardens. It's got a whole trail going all the way around. A little lake in the middle. House over there on that side, I think Natural History Museum's on the other side. A bunch of stuff and then there's a military base or building over here on this side not exactly sure what it is so we came into the palm house for the natural history museum dang it is humid in here, but it's beautiful. Ooh, went into the next room and it is cold in here. It's nice though. This is the top of the dome house that we had to get to by climbing up a winding staircase. I won't lie. This little greenhouse is extremely human, but uh, it's well worth it. I guess I had this cold weather. Ah, oh, it's perfect. All right, so we're in the botanical gardens. We're gonna get uh, some ice cream from this little shop right here. Ooh, looks good. Meteorite that fell under 12,000 years ago in Greenland. Check this shit out. Denmark. There's this beautiful palace. So Rosenberg. Royal Palace. This is crazy. This is a great hall, Rosenberg Royal Palace. Beautiful architecture. Now this is definitely my kind of room. Yo, it's a beautiful museum. A lot of detailed artwork going back in history of Denmark, man. Just all the royals and basically what they liked. But check this out. It's on a big military complex. Spans all the way over there. It seems we're not going. We're gonna 
have some coffee at the coffee factory. It's a nice little joint. They got a good selection, good menu. So I got an iced coffee with that flavoring. She got a uh, iced chai and she said, <laughs> so we just wanted to sell them behind us and surprisingly enough they have a lot of healthy options let me see uh, your strawberry she got a uh, strawberry smoothie uh, that's made by 7-Eleven I got one too and also got a uh, 1.5 liter water because dang I'm thirsty we've been walking like crazy and then we're in the center of Denmark we're actually going to uh, to Bully Gardens right now and it's an amusement park so it is gonna be a uh, unique end to the day, I should say. We're gonna come back to 7 and we'll probably get some drinks uh, before we go back to the hotel. I think we found the amusement park to Bully. Yo, this thing is giving me vibes of Knott's Berry Farm, man. This is crazy. Yo, this place is crazy. It's got everything. Anything and everything you could think of, they got it. So, Jaden did make a good point that this place actually has everything from Knott's to Disneyland to uh, Six Flags. I mean, it's got a giant roller coaster right there. But I will say that the only thing I don't like about this place is one thing, and that is that none of the bags get checked and there are a lot of people with bags that's the only thing other than that it's got a lot of activities a lot of things to do a lot of eateries so it's pretty unique oh look they even got a pond that's crazy look at this all right i don't know what's going on over there but this place is blowing my mind the amount of things they have for you guys to do, eat, have fun, it don't matter, they got it all. All right, so I found out a few fun facts. Lego was actually created in Denmark, which is extremely unique. Uh, but also, Tivoli has been around for 180 years and actually inspired Walt Disney in creating Disneyland. And now I could definitely see why it did i mean there's so many things that um this place resembles of disneyland and any other theme park around the world i mean it has a lot of things so it is a very unique place i'll tell you that if you're ever in copenhagen and downtown you gotta check this place out it is extremely amazing extremely unique and i'm gonna take it the U.S. just scored because she is extremely happy. What's the score? She tied it. She tied it. Yeah, two. Japan. One-one. U.S. versus Japan. Ooh, semi-final game, baby. Let's see how this goes. I think what? Twenty-nine minutes in. So, yeah. This steakhouse inside of Taboli, right next to the entrance, is unique. Special martini. We have starters. Your main courses for all your steaks, or they have a three course meal all set up for you and the way you want it. All right, so my mind is blown. We got bread, butter. So, this menu, they have numbers on everything. You get a steak card, put your initials. Mine's gonna be JP because we have the same initials, which sucks. Table number, which is 638. And then you do main course, which ours is gonna be 40 alpha. And this is everything that comes in our main course. And then we're gonna do medium rare, and then seasoned butter, herbs, garlic, and capers on top. And then she's looking at the drink menu, which I'm gonna look at next. Yo, we had oysters. It's tuna, sear tuna salad. Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, man. I just had to dig in when it came in. It was delicious. All right, these look amazing. We got all the shareable sides, roasted cabbage, french fries, mashed potatoes, and Caesar salad. Gonna get her another side drink. I'm gonna get another spritz. Not sure what yet, but damn, these look amazing. All right, I'll have to say one thing. The 
the steak is cooked perfectly. However, for me, I believe it's a tough cut of meat. That's just me. I don't know what they use. Supposedly it's a ribeye, but it does not taste like a ribeye. It is extremely tough, especially for being medium rare. So, certainly down for Other than that, all the sides and everything, extremely tasty, delicious butter, pairs perfectly. It is not seasoned, so salt and pepper is a must on top of that with the butter and the herbs, capers, everything. Got to. Plus, you got to get a drink. Pair with the whole ambiance of the entree, the meal, you got to get a drink. All right, so we just got dessert. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but it looks amazing. Jaden already broke into it. What's in the middle? I don't know. Oh my gosh. It looks delicious though. Don't know what it is. It looks like pineapple. All right, let's see, figure out what this is. Yep, pineapple with some crumbs. Not sure what it is. Mmm. Oh wow. It's filled to the top, look at that. And this lights up with the crunch. It's uh, sour. All right, so we get to the bottom. We got cake, dark chocolate, pineapple, some kind of custard, kind of like whipped cream that has a very uh, <clears throat> sour taste to it. Makes your face pucker up, but this is good. I honestly think people around here think I'm crazy, but hey, that's fine. I mean, you guys don't think America's crazy, right? Wow. This is delicious. So we just got done eating. Wanted to stay here inside of uh, Tivoli to see how it looks like at night, all lit up. And it is beautiful. Definitely Disneyland, man. But they had it first. They've been here for 180 years. We're headed back to the hotel. A lot we did on day one here in Denmark. We're getting back to the hotel. I think I might cut the video right here. Been a long day. See you guys in the next one.